Uh, hi friends, uh, this is uh, Junaid uh, from Spy Kid. Okay, so uh, friends, today I would like to uh, share a small information about iOS, how to install a virtual desktop on your computer. So it's a new project of uh, innovative idea of Spy Kid. Soon this will be launched and we will develop a new virtual desktop for uh, so the first step to install this iOS is to install uh, it, installing the XAMBOS on the Windows so you can fetch the XAMBOS from here it's almost uh, 80 MB uh, this is what is XAMBWIN32 on installer.exe okay simply install this uh, as a first step let me explain it uh, step by step. You have to uh, remove your user access control and click next, next, uh, next. I have already in say installed it, so I'm not uh, installing this one. You also install this Apache service, MySQL, and FileZilla service. Okay, so I just install this one if you don't have an Apache service. And you see, if you already have, uh, you j kindly skip it. So friends, once you finished installing the exam control plan, you will get an icon like this. Simply click it, okay. Simply click it, you will get one. Uh, this one Apache server is working here, and MySQL is also working here. You can see it's port 80, it's working, okay. So uh, then, then move to step second. After finishing in uh, installing that one, simply type uh, HTTP localhost exam and just uh, press enter. Then you will be directed to the localhost exam. Okay, then uh, if you have done it successfully, you will receive uh, this this kind of small video there. Exam, you can see their status, you can see their Perl and J and all. So the next thing you what you have to do is uh, click PHP My Admin. And if you are uh, have any trouble with the language, uh, most probably default, I think it's uh, it will be German. So just to change the change the change it into English. So uh, click database and create a new database by simply iOS, okay, or you can use Spike Kid or uh, any name. Better to uh, as a default, uh, kindly uh, use iOS, okay. So. Uh, -E and uh, create create a database by simply creating you will get the information and uh, a new database will be created on the left panel of the screen once uh, you created this uh, iOS database uh, step 2 is finished now let us move to what you have to do simply close it uh, simply close it and move, take the command prompt so, uh, open command prompt and uh, type uh, to the location of MySQL and presenter. Presenter. There you type show database and semicolon. It's an error. You have to type it uh, show databases. Okay, so you can see the database uh, there, and you simply cut. So I'm just uh, showing once again, just to go to the location, uh, and type MySQL and simply show the database. Once you successfully created it, you can see your uh, database uh, in this type. You can see mostly, you can see this type. Uh, database and you uh, simply quit that one it means step 3 so so the next step is to to enable curl <coughs> curl how you simply go to uh, C program files Sam and if you have any uh, if you are, are in trouble simply search for the file uh, PHP dot ni that will be much easier to uh, find if you are using uh, Windows Vista. So open this file, 
open this file okay so what you have to do is uh, very simple just close this and uh, find the file control f find the file extension extension is equal to php that's enough okay find it you can see here so if you are you can see uh, what you have to do is to re there will be a small semicolon here simply cut this uh, that semicolon uh, semicolon <coughs> well, you can see a semicolon here because i have already uh, installed in my os i have already removed it a bit earlier before so you have to change you have to remove the uh, semicolon from this file extension is equal PHP extension PHP SH model and uh, what you have to do is simply save that uh, php.inf file and just read it. go to <coughs> so uh, the next step is to install the prerequisites of the packages so the software you need to work is a recall exit full open office daemon causing gateway and active MQ daemon so a call is a uh, software that is used to access the files uh, in an HTML, PDF, post scripts, and all. And exit tool and uh, <coughs> simply download uh, exit uh, tool, Kazin Gateway, and Apache ActiveMQ and Open Office org in the location C Windows. Go there, simply put it that one. This is what is called it exit uh, TOEFL and you can see Apache Active MQ here and the uh, causing gateway this one causing gateway download it and deeply extract here put it on the any the website it is very important for installing the prerequisite otherwise it will not work in a normal so the <coughs> no, part 4 download and install uh, iOS you can uh, you can download the latest version of iOS from the website and you can see I have already downloaded it's just 26 MB and once you have extracted it into with the help of WinRAR and you have to put that file in C program file SAM and or docs you simply put this file in the uh, docs in this file this is that file okay once you extract it extract that one 2.5 R You'll get a lot of files. Once you have successfully installed it, uh, once you have successfully inserted the file, simply double click localhost iOS install. Then you will get a installation uh, file in your favorite browser and click install install uh, ios uh, 2 on my uh, in your server that apache server and you can see that it, it will show the all the uh, extensions and php is needed so you are not supposed to get any kind of this uh, not install options in, if you are using xp uh, change the php INI memory limit to 128 in this side, so it will be shown in default and click continue uh, installation. Then you will get a small screen iOS configuration database configuration. Simply type SQL username root. You can either skip this password or you can give a root password as you. Once you finish the installation, just log on to localhost iOS index.php. Then uh, your password will ask here. I have given username is root and password as password itself. I think I have given you neither. Just wait a few seconds. It will take a bit time for loading. It's loading from uh, uh, the server. Now you can see the application here. 
file manager documents mails not bad uh, now this will work like a computer a virtual computer you can use a calculator uh, or any application uh, okay so you want to use a notepad here you can use a documents if you uh, notepad mail system chat you can chat with other friends by using this virtual computer and the most beauty is there you can see people's images homes and images home page uh, and I have created a group for our spy kid group you can see this is our spy kid group under construction this is the desktop okay friends music images let me close this so uh, there, there are instant messages the future spike it group will interact this type of ways everybody will be using this kind of uh, instant message service for answering and helping you all guys skip that now you can see a calendar here, the programs and everything. I can do loaded from. Uh, it's actually loading from your local host. April week days you can plan and all. And also, if you have, if you want to add any new application, you can add uh, user management software, or a file manager. Also, okay. This is what is uh, iOS, and uh, now what you have to do is. Upload the entire stuff into uh, internet and you virtually.